<sighs> Welcome to the Lady Show. Welcome to the Lady Show. Did y'all miss me? Did y'all, did y'all miss me? That's all I want to know. If you miss me, go ahead and drop them baby bottles. I'm looking in the comments right now. Go ahead and drop those baby bottles if y'all miss me. Because I missed y'all, like I did. I love coming here and sitting on this couch with my dog. And you know, crazy ass Ron when she come through with her. And you know, reinforcers, Nat. Y'all know Liddy been gone for a minute. Y'all need her the most. Drop the bottles. Y'all know y'all miss her. Tea up right now. Hmm. Tap that, follow that, add that, like that, share it to a friend, subscribe that. Y'all know what it is. It's going up. What's hey, up, big lady? Oh my gosh, wrong, huh? Let me take a drink first. Let me go ahead and take a drink first and just let y'all know what the fuck been going on. Exactly. So, hold on. I'm just we all want to know what's been going on. We want I'm the just ins, this. the outs. We want you to spill them beans. Let the grapes on the vines get to talking. <laughs> you hear me? Bottles. Well, y'all know this is the Liddy Show. <laughs> and I'm going to talk what I want to talk. First, before I give them that, <laughs> before I give y'all everything I want to know, um, so I've been wearing a ponytail. Because, like, I like wearing a ponytail, like, you know? And it be getting on my nerves when people be like, oh, Lydia, your hair is not done. So my question to you all is, if I have my hair in a ponytail with this nice, luxury, soft, feel it, it's soft, feel it. Girl, this is like 1200 just hanging off your head right now. You feel me? 1200 A little more than that. A little more than that. <laughs> like, What's that? A Brazilian bundle? What you got? Mm, What's that? Mm. But long story short, I feel like because if you wear a pony... Kang, Kang, you need to chill out. <laughs> you need to chill. Go. Go somewhere with that. Go somewhere with that before you end up on TikTok. <laughs> Sorry about that, y'all. He be doing the most. <laughs> I don't know. Like, he liked this rug. Like, it feel good to him. But anyways, I just feel like, you know, like, when you wear your natural hair, I feel like people always have something to say. And me, like, I like my real hair. Like, you know? Because I really don't like getting my hair done, but I like my real hair. So how do you feel about that? I feel like, have you seen everybody else without their wig on? I mean, yeah, they're bald head. We know that. Bro. They're bald, but... Them edges out, is far back. Yeah, you but outside have... of them... But outside of them being bald head, you know, they there's men... They don't ponytail. No, but it's men who feel the same way, though. They got lace fronts, too. They do what got lace fronts. What are you talking front. about? Are we talking about the bald head is skelly wet? Your hair can't touch your back. You weave it, you perm it. Ah. You know, you need Look, it. Look, you styled it. You fried it. You got it. Ah. <laughs> Stop playing, like it looks good. No, I understand. No, Y'all I know natural, it. Dark skin, black, beautiful with the moon. No, I know it. I know it. I know it. But this is for them. I, 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 this is for them. They I know it. They want to look like drag queens all the time. Everybody's not walking around looking like Barbie the Bentley. Like sometimes, uh, as a real woman, you come back as a real woman. You could do real woman things like not wear a wig, not put on eyelashes come out natural and have your own like you know how many women you know take off their eyebrows they lace front they mustache and they lace like the wig cap come off and you find out that bitch look like the boogeyman no like, most, definitely, like, most definitely most definitely like i said i just feel like and you've had some great hairstylist. Yes, but, we did. I mean, your hair has been slapping week after week after week after week. Come on, be real. No, I know that. I know no shade in the most no humblest shade. way. I know that. And shout out to the hairstylist. Yes, you guys, I am casting for a show called Whip It Up. Whip It Up. Once again, shout out to my hairstylist. If you want to be on Whip It Up, go ahead and DM the Liddy Show. Okay? DM the Liddy Show. 
or head over to Media Spell Network and DM them too. If you want to be on Whip It Up, I got some celebrity hairstylists coming through that's going to, you know, spice us up a little bit. So make sure y'all tap into that. But back to this ponytail. So my thing is this, like, I want people to understand that you are still a baddie with your natural hair out. You are still beautiful. You get what I'm saying? It don't matter if it's long or short. You feel me? Natural hair is not a bad thing. Not it's, at all. it's not. It's not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing at all. I, I wore a side ponytail on purpose today. A side ponytail on purpose today. I was, you know what's cold? I had parted my hair down the middle, right? Mm -hmm. And then I combed it out like this. And I was in the mirror. I was like, I'm going to fix them today. They want to talk about natural hair. I'm just going to come with a little bow wow. I didn't give a fuck. And then I was like, you know what? I ain't even going to do them like that. But if they keep talking shit, I'm coming in here with a little bow wow. Yes. I'm with you on that. I'm going to come with some prison braids. Yeah, fresh you out. <laughs> fresh out. Fresh, fresh out. out. The Meek that. Mill prisons or the Fresh prisons? Because it's a difference. I'm the Meek Mill prisons, the Meek Mill the Meek Mills, you get them braids, then I'm talking them is about, like, you know, uh, they praying on my downfall. Okay. Ooh. Hold on, 10, bitch. I'm still so tall. Tall. <laughs> Show these loyal bitches how to ball. You feel right. me? They're going to need a thermometer for this, mm -hmm. y'all. On my so, Even then, at least you got a ponytail to put to the side. Most definitely. So, and that's beautiful. I so, didn't know you had so much hair. Girl, it's just been growing. Because I've been, you feel me? I've been getting some good nutrition. If Even you catch after my drift, all the phase you ran, you still got hair. Well, they don't. Re well, yeah, they be pulling my hair, <laughs> but I don't know. Like, I guess, like, I don't know. My hair follicles are strong. They strong. Think? What you mixed with? What's that? <laughs> we gonna say that for the Q and A, but <laughs> but off to the off the ponytails, off the ponytails. Now we are gonna go into. These wigs getting caught back. Kane, go, go, go somewhere. Go. You in trouble. Come here, come here. Sit down. Y'all want to pet that dog? Sit down, stop. Chill. Chill, you're doing too much. You're distracting me. You're distracting me. I'm going to feed you and Jariah, and you're distracting me. Chill. Chill. Like he just having like a whole like little attack on the couch. Yeah. But anyways, so when it comes to like ponytails and wigs getting snatched back and fades being ran and stuff like that. So I was surfing on Instagram, right? And as I'm searching on Instagram, a, a post pop up on, on the timeline. And it says, E.T. wants her fade with Natalie again, or like wants to run a fade with Natalie again. And I'm like, when did Natalie catch the first fade? Natalie caught carpet. <laughs> <laughs> Natalie caught the wall. That bitch was a poster. Like, like when what did... What are you talking about? E.T. E.T. is delusional. <laughs> Man, she Listen. said that girl didn't get no fade. That girl got the 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 back seat. She got ejecto cito cuz. That's what she got. <laughs> she got ejecto cito cuz. Hit somebody so hard, the chair, the couch, the lazy boy, the carpet, and the wall fly with the you person. Know, I never so, really yeah. asked her, did she hit her over it? It didn't matter. Everything because went at the same time. It was like a like she you, has superhero powers, like bro. You. Like in a dress. In a Superhero dress. powers. Off the red. No, for real, for real. No say. Hey. No you say. Me? So no, I don't think I don't think in the real world Natalie want that because she, no. No. No, she don't. She never got back up. Get off she my set. Everyone else Get off up. my set. Come on. Take Come on. up they end. Come on. So let's just be Come on. real. Get off my that set. That is not what she wants. Get off my set. Go over there. What y'all think? I don't think she wants that. I ain't gonna Sorry, y'all. I had to kick the dog off the set. He was doing too much. That dog is spoiled. That dog is spoiled. But yeah, eject though, see, talk us. Oh, God. <laughs> that bitch was airborne. You know what I'm saying? No. That bitch looked like Febreze. <laughs> I ain't even gonna hold you. Smelt it in the air. Then... 
What killed me was rolling loud going on, these bitches out having fun, and there go E.T. Anna, where's Anna? Oh! And speaking oh. of this bitch, Anna, speaking of this bitch, Anna Mac. So, uh, Chick of Anonis. <laughs> Chlamydia. Speaking of that, there was a situation with um, where somebody hit me up, and uh, it was actually Harmony, you know, Harmony, and then they hit me up, and it was like there was a screenshot that I guess some supporters that Anna was talking to has sent saying, Liddy said this, I don't talk to Anna. Like, you get what I'm saying? Like, I don't talk to Anna. And she basically was saying, like, she never spit at, um, at Harmony or she never spit, and I said it. But here's the thing, when you spit at an open gate, you spit at everybody. You feel me? So that shit kind of just like... First of all, I'm just glad that somebody was praying on y'all and nobody caught a gingivitis through the gate. No, because that spit had to land somewhere, sweetie. It you landed on the ground. And I'm just happy that you guys didn't come back with the bum bumps. You feel me? Because ain't no telling where that mouth been just like that ass. You feel me? I ain't even gonna hold you. She don't have that much class. I know I know prostitutes do better than her. Like, let's just keep it GP. And if her supporters so, supported her so much, let me say this, because you can find me. I ain't going to hold back. You dig what I'm saying? Why don't one of them help her clear up that chlamydia? That gonorrhea, that ginger manonis. The fuck is you talking about? This bitch coming out with new STDs. Like, shit you ain't never seen before. Like, what do you mean? And she the type to be your friend. Fuck your nigga behind your back. Go ahead, support that. You are the company that you fucking keep. I know she got all the diseases. Girl, let me tell you something. The streets talk, so do dick. Oh, okay, keep it burning. Let it burn. Oh. <laughs> allegedly, allegedly. 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 We're going to say allegedly. Alleged, allegedly. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, like, I had said it, too. Like, I don't care about none of that shit that goes on over there. Just, like, hoes, just keep me out your mouth. Like, you know? They would never. No. They would never keep you out their mouth. They would never keep E.T. out their mouth. Do you guys understand y'all branched off and been you? Y'all bosses, not losses. Man, fuck all that shit. Them bitches need to keep my name out their mouth. They're I'm not. not. Them shows. Yes, they are. They I'm said my name all week since I said it. Bullying shit. I'm just Because they don't no want bully. the fade. They not going to what? Uh-uh. Leave me alone. <laughs> speaking, of, speaking of that. I'm gonna need y'all to stop being so ghetto. Like, the, I, I got tagged in a video today, and they was yelling out Big Liddy while they was fighting. I don't got nothing to do with y'all fights, okay? Like, it's just a song. <laughs> I don't got nothing to do with it. Like, I don't got nothing to do with it. I'm scared somebody's gonna get hurt, and then they gonna see me, and they gonna be like, yeah, and they said Big Liddy before the fight. And I'm gonna be like, wait a minute, hold on. Do I know you? Nah, <laughs> shit. I'm, I'm turning, right? I don't want it. Leave me alone. It's, it's, it's good. It's good. Sometimes it's just a hype. No, because that off-camera fade is different. Oh, yeah. That off-camera, you don't get a fair one. You get some some crazy shit. Okay. No shade. No That's shade. Some crazy shit. No I shade. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, Danye, why y'all ain't pull up? <laughs> we'll never know. <laughs> Well, Girl, never know. that's been going viral. You hear me? And speaking of that, um, yes, the Danye, well, you ain't pull up. Yes, it has been going viral. And that shit is so funny. The people, it's very funny. It's very funny. But <clears throat> it's a lot of evil people out here in this world. And they be like, yeah, Liddy, go get your chain back. Go do this, go do that, go do this, go do that. I got the chain and they pawned the charm. Me and Ivory, we fought on a new show on Not Us TV. Woo. I can't say too much about it. I'm not gonna say too much about it. But it's coming um, soon. I did say, I did say on um, on Instagram that, in my opinion, and usually I'm not all the way wrong, but in my opinion, Ivory got one, I got one, and and that's that. Um, I can say this show is is different. It's different. Yeah, it's different. It's messy. Um, it was some bullshit, like, you know. Um, How was your experience getting it? It was, I just said it, it was some bullshit. Mm. <laughs> it was some bullshit, like. For the record. <laughs> it was some bullshit, so, you know, that was that, like, you feel me? I feel like it should have never, like, 
Well, maybe it did have to go that far because of their safety, you know? But I had made a TikTok, you know, and, and let it be known that I got booked the night before to hop on a plane, you feel me? So, before the pop-up shop. Exactly, before the pop-up shop. Before so. the pop-up shop. I ain't scared of shit. I'm going to say it. Yeah, so, you know, I just felt like that was a big coincidence. You feel me? But they did. Keep to their word. Return your daughter's chain. Yeah, but the, the, the charm got pawned. That's some broke bitch shit, man. If I ain't never, ever seen it in life. I'm talking about scrape of the Skilly Wonka. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, you pawned a baby chain. But okay. I mean, at the end of the day... You still held it down to the end. I don't even give a fuck about holding it down. It's more so like... What part of what, it? It's more so like what made you want to use that as leverage. Like, you get what I'm saying? Like, mm. i fight you. I have no problem with that. But why use that as leverage? Like, oh, come get this and we can fight. We could have been for Like, you know. But I explain more on the show, so I'm going to just let it, you know. I'm going to just let it go to that. But I just honestly feel like you feel me like it didn't have to be it didn't have to be handled on no show, you know. No disrespect to not a CB or nothing, but it didn't have to be handled on that show. They could have Danye, why y'all didn't pull up? It could have been handled here. Cameras off, but off camera, Ooh, bitches not is not with wanted. it. No, this is not with it off camera. Like, but it's cool. Like you know. It's I don't good. feel like the other person is scary. I just feel like, you know, they was concerned for their safety. They really flew you out of L.A., though. Yes, they did. They flew me out of L.A. But like I said, I feel like they was concerned for their safety. And, you know, now that TV did they shit, they with protecting them. One? Yes, they, they, they made sure that they kept the violence out the streets with this situation. Oh. Yes. Can we get a hand clap in the studio for Not Us TV? Not Us TV is finally regulated. Yes, yes, yes. They kept that out. So, you know, out of the street. So that's shout really out. actually good for both parties. Yeah, but well, whatever. But, you know, shout out to Nada TV for keeping the violence out of the streets, okay? Um, so everybody stay tuned for that. Coming to you real soon. Yeah. Yes, you know, yeah. everybody going to be sitting on the edge of the couch waiting on that thing mm. to jump on the screen. It was crazy. Yes. Um... Greek life. I am doing Greek life. Um, I can't wait. You know, I can't wait. I'm coming to Greek life to win. Like, it's a competition. I don't care Ooh. about fighting nobody. If I got to fight somebody, oh, well, so be it. So but they leave me alone. Challenges? Yeah, they're supposed to. We don't have all the tea about it yet, though. Ooh, but, surprises. Yeah, I just want bitches to leave me alone. Let me do my competition. If you want to fight, we could fight. And then it's just be that. But I ain't trying to have this to be a whole other sauce with your baddies where I got to keep fighting and keep fighting and keep fighting. Like, bitch, get on. Like, well, you know? I hope they actually let you elevate and show all everything that you do, including for the kids, the things that you do for the street. Now that TV ain't for like, kids. We ain't even about to throw the kids in that. <laughs> these kids don't need to be watching these shows. I be telling the kids all the time, stop watching the show. <laughs> no, fuck all that. That's, that's what I do outside but of TV. That's what but they Greek do life do. is a competition. So it ain't really to showcase no talent. It's really, I think, we just going to go in there, do these challenges, well, and possibly you, I'll fight. I'll help you enter into that thing like the champion of the world and win every challenge. Well, I have a team, so we'll see. It's not just me. It's a team. Oh, that's even better. Everybody has a team. Oh, that's even better, bro. Yeah, everybody has a team. So, uh, you guys, I see y'all in the comments. Y'all want Poppy Wag. Y'all want Poppy Way. Y'all want Poppy Way. So I'm going to go ahead and take a quick, I'm, I'm going to do a two-minute break, a quick two-minute break, and I'm going to go ahead and bring Mr. Carocious on the stage, on the couch. Okay, y'all? Yeah, so I'll be right back with y'all. That part, man.
What's the deal? And we're back. It's the motherfucking lady show. Diane, why y'all ain't pull up? <laughs> nah, but I got the one. The only. Poppy motherfucking way on my soul. On my soul. So before I get into it, get into it with the into it. Um, your supporters do not play about you. No. I got death threats. I got threats. I got cussed out. I got trolled. All because I didn't put you on my shit. Like, because I didn't put you on. This is my shit, okay? This is my shit. But and I they were like threatening they feel me. Like it was only right. I mean, it, that's why I got you here now. Like, you feel me? But, like I said before, I didn't know it was really beef like that. Like, I didn't know y'all was outside on cars, on poles, in shopping stores, at TT House. You feel me? I didn't know <laughs> that y'all was doing all that. I feel like I'm the only one outside, though. Mm. I feel like he and Target, 30 years old, running around with a white T-shirt and a fanny pack. Mm. I was the only one outside. So, before we get into the outside, you gagged me. So, before we get into the outside, let, let's let the people know a little bit more about you. Um, where are you from? Watts. Period. Watts. Join Down Projects. Period. Okay. And what do you do? Mm, I go to work, come home, turn up, cuss bitches out, go back home, clock back in, clock back out, do it again. Mm. Okay. Oh, no shame. Yeah. So, you like, I love your vibe, first and foremost. Love you down, too. You like, you're so big on TikTok. Like, everybody's paying attention. They're all tuned in. Like, how did that feel? Um, at first, it was just like, oh, I'm blowing up. And then it's like, when I go to work, I be having people give me hugs. Like, I be having, like, little girls scream. And I be like, that's embarrassing because I'm not Beyonce. But it feel like mm, it's something that I just wanted to do. I woke up and just, like, I'm a post instead of standing in the comments. So from the comments to the field? Yep. Because at first I didn't even like TikTok. Like, I didn't get why my cousins then was on it every single day. But then I was like, let me get on it too. So as soon as you got on TikTok, it just was booming? My first video jumped to 16 million views. Your first video? Mm-hmm. It's on my page. Period. Yeah. The one that's pinned, the third it's one. It's pinned. I yeah. seen it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. That was and your I first had, video. Mm -hmm. And I was just like ganging, 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 ganging. And then, like, within two weeks, I was at, like, at 100K. And then I just kept going. You know how much of a blessing that is? You don't, huh? I do, because everybody can't do that. Exactly. Exactly. You have a gift. You have a talent. You have, you have an aura that people attract to. Everybody don't got it. You got yeah. it. You know what I mean? That's a like blessing. Like, I watch people do it, then they can't keep up. Like, they can't keep up with it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's hard to... It's hard to get something and keep it. You feel me? That's just like when you get a lot of money and you see people blow it. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. And you got, you got this, this big, big platform. And I, since I've been tapped in to you, I see like you're consistent with it. You're very consistent with it. You're posting. You get and it's that part right there. When I didn't, when I stopped posting, mm -hmm. that's when, that's when, when I stopped posting, I took a little break, a little one-week break. That's when, that's where this boy came from. Mm -hmm. It's like he was watching me, and he seen that, and he was like, oh, let me pop my shit. Mm. You got my lip gloss. So, let's get into the, let's, let's get into y'all beef real quick. Okay, so when B-Dog was here, he mentioned that Y'all didn't know each other. No, he knew me. Okay, so how did it start? Because he made videos and he was like, um, dead homies and all that. Y'all bitches don't talk like me. Y'all bitches want to be me, this, that, and the third. And then everybody was like, who are you talking about? Then before that, in December, I had already went viral for saying and all that over and over and over, like 10 times in one video. So it was quite clear who he was talking about. So you, so basically, you said he subbed you first. Mm -hmm. He did. I posted the video on my TikTok. I had it on my iPad. And then he, then he, then 
He responded? No, or no, you responded? I responded, and uh-huh. then he took down that video as if I already didn't save it. Mm. So he definitely knew of me. Wow. Okay, so... You guys, I'm kind of shocked right now because, again, I didn't ask him about it before, you feel me, or back, or back, so backstage or anything like that. So now that just threw like a monkey rich in the game. That's what it is for everybody. Everybody thinks that I just woke up one day and just started popping my gums on him. And it's just like I didn't even know him. And then it's all crazy because everybody's calling me a hater, but I've been seeing him come up on my For You page, and I never once hated, never once said nothing, never once said he wanted to be like me, none of that. I didn't see it. Like, I didn't see what people was talking about. So he was never on your radar? He, no, mm-mm, never. It's like, it's other creators that say on my soul too, and I don't come for them, I don't say nothing to them, like, I don't say nothing to them, so it's like, why would I specifically, like, pick you out and bother with you? That's because you came for me first. And then deleted the video. And then he deleted the video. And then everybody was asking for the video. And it was like, my cousin, she had it on her phone because that's the person that kept showing me. It was like, when he kept saying stuff, my cousin would come back and show me. Mm -hmm. And I would just pay it. I'd be like, I don't care, I don't care, I don't care. Because at that week, I wasn't posting on TikTok, so I didn't really care. But when she showed me one video, she she came in the room, she was like, Bitch, you not gonna say nothing? Like, you you look like a buster. She just made me feel like mad. Who, so, which cousin is this? My cousin Siobhan. And she Siobhan. always in my, uh-huh, she always in my TikTok. She went viral, she started going, um, she started doing TikToks too. They asked about her too, but yeah. She was like, bitch, you not gonna say nothing. He just, like, you look like a buster. And I was like, let me see. She brought the phone to me. And when he said dead homies and all that, like, y'all really don't talk like that, it was clear who he was talking to. That's when I was like, okay. Like, tomorrow when I wake up. And when I woke up, I woke up. When you was up and about? Yeah. Ooh. I'm going to get right oh, back to Oh, and tell that. the girls I asked him to be here, but he um, didn't come because he snitched on me and Paul calling you. Like, he my mama. You guys cannot fight here. You guys we cannot fight here. We could have took it here. outside, though. No. Mm-mm. That part. No. He did not. Snitch. He wanted to come, and I told him no to. So he could claim because no. he had the address first. No. He already been here. Yeah. We not doing that. Mm-mm. Nope. Mm-mm. Cause Karosha seemed too big for him, and it's still there. It's on the pole. <laughs> he was crazy. <laughs> Y'all is crazy. So we gonna get right back into that. TT. So you guys, this is the, the infamous TT. Hi. This is TT. So TT, how you feel about your house being involved in all this? Well, my house is in the hood. I stay on Corrosions. On Corrosions, bitch. So my house being involved in a lot of stuff. So this was like nothing like new. Ma- yeah, new and major. And if it went down, you know, they would have got that shit in. He would have got his little ass whooped in. It would have been that. Even my voice. cousins fight in the house. They, yeah, like... They it, fight each other. So if he would have pulled up by himself, y'all was going to jump him? No. No. So he was going to get a fair pay? Yeah. yeah. And he still can. Like, okay. tonight. Tonight. Today. Tomorrow, tonight, whatever. Mm-mm, like, right now. <laughs> Pull up. <laughs> and come and get it. So, y'all not fighting up in here? Mm-mm. We ain't doing that. But, I love that you're so eager for the fade. I ain't gonna lie. It's like, it's, it's, cute. it's cute. Yeah, I don't but, see him as no competition. Like, they say he big, but I don't care about that. I've been fighting big bitches all my life. All my life I had to fight, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I had to call it sis. So, I approached both of you. I approached B-Dog, and I approached you about you guys doing a boxing match, an influencer boxing match, so we could get the fade over with, and we could keep it out the streets. Um, You accepted the challenge? I did. You did, and B-Dog also accepted the challenge. Um, 
we want to make this like just something to encourage the youth to like kind of stay out the streets with the social media stuff sometimes. But I already know everybody gonna pull up for their fades, whether they do it or they don't. But I feel like, you know, I feel like this would be good for the culture. Also, you know, we can be able to do live audience, you feel me? And then also the the, the supporters that you guys have all over, because you guys got supporters all over. You feel me? You can tune in and watch it too. Um, you expressed something to me. You you wanna you wanna say it? Cause I know you want to. About how you felt about the boxing match. Last night? Um, right now, earlier today. Oh yeah. Because like, so it's like they like y'all dragging it, y'all dragging it, y'all dragging it. So I felt like the boxing match, I felt like it's like tired because it's like it's been going on like somebody commented on my video they was like y'all been arguing for a whole month now so i feel like that's tired so I, like i didn't want to do that no more so that's why i told him like pull up come to the liddy show i'll be here that's why i told him that because it's like it's tired and i'm tired and the poll is tired but it's like i got people like you my friends like they're telling me the same thing you're telling me like it's gonna be good for you Rather than like just fighting and that's it, that's all. So it's like you're not the only one telling me that, everybody telling me that. But you just like fuck it. Yeah, because it's like I have never done this before, like argue with somebody for so many days and days and days and days and days and days. And days. Then he made a video thinking I was talking about him. But in the video, I was talking about the boy I go with. The boy I go with has nappy hair. I said, bring your nappy headed ass home. He doesn't have nappy hair. So how did you think I was talking about you? You have straight hair. So therefore it's on the floor that he thinks he's black or he wants to be black. You know so, it is, that's why you wanna laugh. No, I wanna laugh. I mean, laugh. look how he dance, like, the way, like, you can just tell in hey. his whole little, in his whole little pers personality, he wants to be black. He wish he was. On the damn. Okay, so y'all from the east side, right? Yep. You feel me? So you know how it is like when everybody raised around the same shit, like, you know? Like, I feel like it don't be like a, like a motherfucker wanna be black. I feel like it be more of like, they just be raised around us. Like, you get what I'm saying? It's just like, it's just but how I it is. I said, bring your nappy headed ass. Nappy headed I mean, ass. If you, if you put that in that Nappy headed <laughs> ass. Nappy. <laughs> nappy. Like, I was not talking about him. I mean, if you put it, if you put it in that perspective, I mean, I get what you're saying because he does not have nappy hair. It's like, we can't, he has straight hair. But maybe he was just trolling you just to get on your nerves because it's on your nerve, baby. It is. It's on like your that. nerve, baby. And then especially because you was talking about your boo, so it's like, you with my shit. Yeah. I'm already dealing with this shit, and now I'm dealing with you. So it's on your nerve. I get it. I it get is. it. So, TT. Yes. I need your help. Huh. Can we please keep him out the street with fighting B-Dog, and let's get this get this boxing match together yeah. for the culture? Yeah, we finna do that because I told him it's worth it. It's better than, you know, even though... It has been prolonged for a month. It's, it's better. You can get in the ring with him. He finna whoop him down all the way. T.T. gonna be your water girl? Plenty of tea. Hmm? T.T. gonna be your water girl? I don't need no you water. You don't need no don't water? Need no water. <laughs> you need water and granite. I don't need no water. So with this boxing match, you, you, you going in for a throttle? Mm -hmm. You coming to do your big one? Like I was gonna come to do it today. Parking lot, all them peas. TT, we supposed to be keeping him out the street, TT. We supposed to be keeping him out the street, TT. We supposed to be keeping him out the street. So look, we gonna do this boxing match, okay? We gonna do this boxing match. We gonna keep y'all out the street from fighting. That is the ultimate goal. Keep y'all out the street, okay? Poppy. <laughs> Now, y'all gonna pop y'all shit just because, and it's allowed. Pop y'all shit. Do y'all big one, but we gonna keep it out the street. 
So listen, you guys, listen, listen, listen here, listen here, listen here. Poppy Way versus B Dog boxing match coming soon. We keeping them out the street and putting them in the ring. Okay? We keeping them out the street and putting them in the ring. This for the culture. All y'all that's been watching on TikTok, all y'all that's been tuned in on every social network, the fade is finally about to get caught. Okay? The fade is about to get caught. And then once this fade is caught, are you going to be able to let it go? Or are you beefing with bitches forever? Well, after the boxing match, I want to fight him. That was my whole plan. So after the boxing match? I was going to throw off my gloves and just get off on him. What am I going to do with you? You're really a baby kid. <laughs> You got all planned out, huh? Yeah, I had it planned out for today. While we was talking in the middle of talking, I was gonna get up and steal on him and walk out. I knew you was on some shit like that. That's why I was three steps ahead of your ass, Poppy Way. Mm -mm. I knew what you was on. Stop you right in your tracks. Stop you right in your tracks. Daddy telling me he coming, I'm like, for real? <laughs> Not on my watch. <laughs> I'm uh -uh. steady like, all right, so you know what? I'm not even going to get my nails and I'm going to go get them painted. And he like, all right, yeah, because he's going to be right there, sitting right there. I'm going to steal on him. Mm -mm. You should have called me, TT. I would have told you it ain't going down. You don't want to give up no numbers. <laughs> Get my number after the you show. said don't give it up. I did. When you first called me. I did tell him that. You, you a real one. I'm fucking you for that. Because this bitch should be leaking. Man. Poppy Way. So I'm open the phone line up for you real quick. Okay. I'm open the phone line up for you. I see you. Lee, Lady do love to eat. I'm getting thick too. So listen, y'all. I'm going to open up the phone line for y'all. Y'all know my shit ghetto. It barely works sometimes. So I might have to call y'all back. But y'all just call anyway. Y'all know the drill. Hey, who is who's out there? Hey. So I'm about to I'm about to turn on the call line for you guys. What's going on here, Mike? I am. I'm comfortable. Her, what's wrong with her mic? It came off the tape. Can you step to the side with him? Yeah. She wasn't on camera anyway. Okay. So you guys, I'm gonna open up the hotline. So you guys, I want you guys to call in with questions for Poppy Way. If you guys are into what's going on and y'all know what's going on, I want y'all to ask them some questions. Get down to it. Get down to it. Don't call in with that bullshit tonight. You will get hung up on. 213. 536 
All right, we good. Okay. Yeah, it's doing that again. Hold on. Okay, y'all, I'm calling y'all back. Calling y'all back mm -hmm. right now. You smell clean too. They got to say. I <sighs> Hello? What's the deal? This big Liddy, and I'm calling you back. Hey, Liddy, it's done. Yeah, I'm calling you back. Nah, yeah, why y'all ain't pull up? No, nah, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> What's good, Liddy? What's good? Where you calling from? I'm calling from Big CT. Okay, period. CT, I'm going to be out there. No worries. Yep, I'm going to be out there in New Haven on the 30th. You about to show me love? Yeah, I'm going to pull up to the club. All right. I got a question for you. You got a question for me or, or Poppy? Um, he's the one that beefing with the, the big Spanish dude? Yes. I keep beefing with him. You know he don't got no squabble. Hold on, let me pass the phone. That part right there, though, but he keep running his mouth like he do. For real, though. Why are you even entertaining that shit? You know, because, you like, the type of person I am, if you say something to me once, like, we're going to keep going, keep going, keep going. And I'm trying to learn how to work on my anger, but it's getting the best of me. Don't work on that shit. Just handle that shit. I did. That's why I told the bitch to come today, but he snitched on me to Libby and told her that I told him to come. He didn't snitch. He basically did, because I didn't tell, I didn't tell you I told him. <laughs> For big lady. What's that? All right, so you pulled up to that Mean Girls reunion and shit? No. Didn't you and my mic, yo, Topher, didn't you and my mic get into it in that shit? No, I wasn't at the Mean Girls reunion. No, not no, at the Wait, what? Man. Mm -mm. Man. It's on a new show. Okay, or do, or do. You gotta keep you up with your team. Beat your ass or not? I don't feel like she did. No, she didn't. I wasn't trying to fight. I was trying to run. Because I didn't know her. <laughs> I didn't know her. I didn't know she was about to attack me. I never even got introduced to her. I was trying to spray another bitch. Yeah, I was trying to spray a bitch and get the fuck on. Real shit. That was it. The well. neck tat. The what? What made you get that and did it hurt? The neck on oh, my neck tag because I'm her. Period. And no, it didn't hurt. I was eating chicken and went to sleep. Real shit. I'm thinking again. So I'm gonna get him. Mm mm. <laughs> Don't copy me. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I appreciate you, Liddy. No problem. Thank you for calling in. Yep. Go talk about something that I think might might beat my ass. Y'all fucking bold. Fuck wrong with y'all. Shout out to him, though. Needs. <laughs> <laughs> like, whoa. He said, because I don't think she did. OK. This is a 702 number. That's Las Vegas. You know them LA cousins. Them LA cousins. This big Liddy and I'm calling you back. Hey, Liddy. What's the deal? Where you calling from? I'm calling from Vegas. Period, period. What's your name? Imani. Okay, Imani, you got a question for Poppy Way? Yes, I got Hold a on. question for him. Hold on. What's T? <laughs> hey, Poppy. Uh, I'm trying to figure out. What, what, what goes on at T.T. House? Because I'm trying to go to T.T. House, too. Baby, everything <laughs> goes on at T.T. House. T.T. House. T.T. House is T.T. House. Everything goes yeah, on at T.T. House. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's still there for any bitch, okay. anybody. <laughs> um, yeah. and I want to I ask. I want to ask. Why you call that man the Mexican corn man? 
Like, that just ruined the whole corn experience. <laughs> well, what I said was, who is his dead homies? The tamale men, the corn men? Because I don't know, and I still don't know. Yeah, not the tamale man. The corn man is acceptable, but the tamale man is pushing it. <laughs> mm, no, I don't feel like that. And I feel like um, when y'all do this little boxing thing, you, you, yeah. Yeah, no talking, just straight business. Y'all ain't even gotta do the ding, ding, ding. Y'all need no referees up in there. Just do your big one. And that was supposed to be today. Oh my God, you're not gonna ding. let this go. <laughs> That's all I have to say. But Thank yeah, you, baby. Girl, you is so messy. You is so messy. <laughs> we going to TT house. Y'all. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right, Let's go. Check it out. Let's go. Say hi to TT. Here, TT. Hi, yes. Come on, girl. <laughs> It's going down. Yeah. It ain't Helen House right now. It's TT House, baby, though. Shout out to Helen House. But they told me to come over there, too. It's TT House baby. now. Do you want, you want to go together? We can go again. I'll be up there. Let's go to Helen House. Okay. All right, nice coming? meeting you, baby. We can battle. Is, is he coming? Who, is who coming? Listen, you need to stop. Bye, little messy. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> she was messy. She turned you up, though. <laughs> she turned you up, though, because she really want to go to TT House. She's I'm on her soul. Go. She's serious. They need to come. And y'all talking about I'm discriminating with the callbacks. How I'm discriminated with numbers, I don't motherfucking know. Start picking on me. Y'all, don't do that. Let them up, too. I'm going to eat them up, too. Who? Anybody. Oh, my God. You just want to eat them up. You just want to eat everybody up. That's a Molly, man. <laughs> you just want to eat everybody up. I got a little Spanish in me, too, y'all. I love corn and tamales. Me, too. I love Mexican food, period. They said Big TT House. Not Hello? Anyone, thanks. Hello? This was Big Liddy and I was calling you back and you didn't pick up your motherfucking phone. Next. That's the new thing I'm about to start doing. I just did that, made that up just now. <laughs> just made that up. They just make a ringtone. I, I mean, should. a voicemail. A voicemail. Hey, Liddy, why you didn't pick up? On my soul. Let's see. Mm hmm. They not ready. Okay, next caller. Next caller. That dog bomb, I want it. I said that to her dog, I love her dog. That nigga, you see, he won't, he, he ain't really ruined my show. What kind of dog is it? That's a Frenchie. I'm a black bitch with a Frenchie. And he cute. I don't know my dogs, I'm into more like cats. Ugh. I love cats. How you knew it was me? Ah, what's up, lady? <laughs> what's the deal? Thank you for tuning in to the lady show. Hold on. I'm in the middle of this. Chill. Hold on. I'm on the pocket. Hold on. Chill. Wait, what? Hold on. You talking to me? Oh, <laughs> oh I'm calling back. Don't be motherfucking hanging up on me. That boy. My fault, lady. Oh, I'm like, don't hang up on me. My fault, my fault, lady. Hey, hey, pop up. My fault, my fault. What, your bitch was right there or something? No, 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 no. Okay, where you calling from? Let's get into it. I'm in South Carolina right now. I'm from Philly. Okay, period. Fit big Philly. What's your name? I got my friend, got my friend on the phone. He on a three-way. Oh, okay. Oh, y'all cheating. Y'all got a three-way call. Big <laughs> They got the party line. <laughs> I got a question. Okay, what's up? Why you ain't stab that big bitch, uh, Billy, with the iron? She, did you ever see her come in that door by me? Did you see her next to me? Everybody seen that bitch. She's like a bowl of dupe. But did you see her next to me? No, I did she, like Exactly. Man, fuck all that, lady. You should have got out there and got her anyway. For what? She didn't want me. Why not? Fuck you. She didn't want me. Yeah. Fuck pressure, too. Fuck pressure. Me and Medicine. I ain't no pressure at all. So they tripping, they messy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You, mm -hmm. I know you ain't telling the truth. I ain't, well, I ain't saying nothing wrong. <laughs> what did it feel like? They said, did she? Did he say really she a bowl of dookie? Is that what you said? She look like a bowl of dookie on my soul. She talking about sitting in the gas door the mouth. She nasty as shit. Yeah, like, y'all is That's eating it up. Y'all got a question for Poppy Waiter for me? Uh. I was supposed to fight him today, but he didn't come. <laughs> and I'm gonna keep saying that. And I'm gonna keep saying that. Oh my God. 
You listen to Liddy. Just let it go. Don't even fight him after the match. Just, if you're going to take the dub, just take the dub. I'm going to take both dubs. Oh, my God. He want two Ws. Okay, y'all. I love y'all. Thank y'all for calling in. Big Philly in the house. Too, big lady. Oh, my God. Why are you like that? Why are you he, like that? He he you didn't show up today. All in the shit. Like, all in the shit. I can't, I can't breathe. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm, I'm going to need extra security now. They're going to be like, Liddy, you stop Poppy away from the fade. Now we beating your ass. I'm like, oh. <laughs> Oh, nah. All right, next caller. Hello? This big Lydia, and I'm calling you back. Oh, my fucking God. About motherfucking time. Straight out of age time. What the fuck going on, big Lydia? What the fuck going on? What's your name? My name, by Chaz. You know, the one and only. Be straight out of age time. We fuck with you out here. Period. I fuck with y'all, too. So what's the deal? You got a question for Poppy Way? I got a question for both of y'all. Okay, I'm going to pass it to Poppy Way first. Hi, Poppy Way. Hi, baby. What's going on, chocolate? Chilling. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so like, I like you. I like you. I just feel like, I just got one question. Do you feel like Liddy protecting B-Dog? No, I feel like the only reason why he was up here was because he said he like um, basically like was promoting her song. I feel like that's the only reason why she had him here first. Like she said, she didn't know about the beef. Whoopty whoop, her daughter brought it to her. So no, I don't feel like that. Okay, and with that being said, why you feel like you're so hostile towards Liddy? I mean, cause he was supposed to be sitting here on this couch. Oh, you just want your ones, okay? Yeah. Let me let me shut let me shut the fuck up. Okay, now, lady, <laughs> lady, hey, baby. He not hostile towards me. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know? Let me let me tell you something. You know how long I've been waiting for a motherfucking phone call? I've been flooding your ass. I've been going out for everybody under your comments, okay? Hmm. What's been going on? I I just been. I just been ripping for the big lady, you know, I'm a lady baby. But I just wanna ask you, you 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 like girls? Why? Because you pretty. You got natural hair, I got natural hair. We both chocolate. Oh. <laughs> it's Liddy for the win. DM me. Oh. No see. Love you. Love you have a good one. Who is this? Hello? Big B-Dog in this bitch. What's bitch! Oh. You crazy ass bitch. You was supposed to be right here, bitch. And you ain't even right here, you scary ass bitch. Bring bitch, you better it. shut the fuck Bring up. Bring it. Off my phone, bitch. <laughs> Next. <laughs> Pull up. <laughs> oh, ah. Waiting on that bitch. You're not coming to my studio? Come. Baby, I got two outfits on. No, no, no. Let me see. No, let me no, see. No. Let me see. Let me see. Yes. Let me get a phone to me. Let us see, Liddy. Get let us see that me. phone. Come on, baby. I walked off stage. No, y'all not about to do that. No, y'all not about to do that. Okay? No, you not about to do that. No, I'm, I'm off of the Liddy show. I stepped to the side. We're not about to do that. Ooh, they tight. Okay. You got it? They tight. No. Oh my God. Okay, I'm gonna call you back. Oh my gosh. Put him out. Mm. He not coming? No. Oh, let me put my earrings back in. Put this back in. Push it. 
You gonna call him back? Call him back. Tell him bring his. What was the point of him calling if he right. already been here and he got the address here? Show out. <laughs> Show out. You put the I thing. Can't put it back in. Wait. Black people can't have shit. All I want is a motherfucking box match. I can't have shit. I'm going to give you the box and match. That's it. I don't know, it's not going in. It ain't going in, huh? I told you that. But you see what I be talking about? How he called and he did all of that, but didn't come here, but then told you that I said for him to come here? That's exactly what I'm talking about. He throw shots and hide his hands. He didn't see, even have to call the phone and do all of that. He told me he was coming. He had to respect me, though. He can't just pop up here. I don't give so a fuck. So he shouldn't have called at all. I don't give a fuck. Can't nobody just pop up here and write no face. I, I ain't fought on this motherfucker yet. You know? Right. So he called me out of respect. He had to, you feel me? But, I don't know, TT. I put my hand back in. He can pull up. You all right? Sorry. Ain't this thing beat off? It ain't going in for you. It's quiet. I'm gonna take one more call. <laughs> <laughs> call him back. Just tell him, just you know. Am I calling B Dog back? Please. No, actually, do just call a him back. Just call him back. Just call him back. We have a conversation. Girls, we ain't finna be childish. Call him back. Call him back. Baby, we want to talk to you. Tell him. Put him on there. We just want to speak. Just put it in the hole. I'm gonna try. Oh my God. Hello. This is Big Liddy and I'm calling you back. What's up? What's the deal? What you got to say? You, you about to be messy too? No, I ain't trying to be messy, but I just seen all of that. Why? I see you trying to, I need, you trying to get some money off that box of mess, ain't you? Well, I mean, I'm investing my own money into this boxing match. I'm paying him, okay. and I'm helping with the assistance of me and his bill. And you ain't trying to, you know, line it up because you're trying to, yeah. I mean, and I respect that. I mean, at the end of no, the day, if I'm investing into some shit, don't you think I want my motherfucking money back? Cause oh yeah, I ain't, I ain't saying nothing. I'm just saying, you know. But like, fuck getting the money. Everybody. I gotta spend my own motherfucking money first. You gotta spend money to make money, right? I respect it. I got a question for the for uh, Poppy and TP. What's up, fan? What's popping? What's um, the deal? I already got a question, but you better do your big one when mm. when y'all do fight. You, Is this him? You act, you act, you act like you I wanted you to call him. I don't buy. Get your dumb ass I want off him. the phone. You I sound want him. stupid. Like he was a coach I or want something. Him. Bye, bitch. I want him. I just want to talk to him. Weird ass. You better do your big one. Who the, what coach you him. came from, stupid? I want him. I want him. Let me get this little set. I'm not even going to yeah, cuss nothing. Yeah, call him back. I'm not going to cuss nothing. Because he just did all type of stuff. Okay, they want to talk to you, but... Limit the cussing and the yelling. Can y'all both do that? Mm -hmm. They did TT and um, Poppy Way. Hold on, I'm gonna put you on speaker. Nothing to talk about. Then why did you call? No, why did you call? Why did you call, baby? Why did you call? Why did you call? Why did you call? Why did you call then? Why did you call? Why did you call? You don't have no dead homies. Name one dead homie. 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 Name one dead homie, you big bitch. Name one dead homie. 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 
Na name one day, homie, bitch. You look up to me, bitch. You want to be just like me, bitch. You look just like me, bitch. You want to be like me, bitch. You want to be like me, bitch. You want to be like me, bitch. You look up to me, bitch. You come to my page every day, bitch. You bum, bitch. Bitch, you walk around in Target with a fanny pack on and a white T-shirt, bitch. You walk around Target with a fanny pack on and a white... That's enough. Oh, yeah. That's and your boyfriend did me. He said, stop wearing his suits that he gave you three years ago, you bum-ass bitch. Your boyfriend did me and said, stop wearing his suits he gave you three years ago, you bum-ass Ass bitch. Three Next. years, stress. Three years ago. Next. Next. Who is the boyfriend? Oh, the boyfriend DM me on TikTok this morning. Check your bitch, B Dog. Yeah. And your cousin, bitch. They say you not really like that, bitch. Your own people said you not like that, bitch. Ooh. Bitch. 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 <laughs> bitch. 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 Get the fuck off the phone, bitch. Your time up, ho. 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 Your time is up, ho. You don't even have no nappy hair, you dirty bitch. You dirty bitch. Come to TT House. Come to TT House, bitch. Come to TT House. Come to TT House. Come to TT House, bitch. You don't want this, bitch. You don't want this. Come to TT House, bitch. We still on Karoshis, bitch. We still outside, bitch. <sighs> well, you guys, this is the Liddy Show. Anything could happen here. Um, <laughs> no, I am not going on Karoshis. I'm not going over there. Uh, I'm not going on Artesia. I'm not doing none of that. So how this is going to go is, hopefully that it goes, I'll be able to talk to Poppy Way and B-Dog after this, and hopefully we can still get this boxing match going. You know, take it out the streets and put it in the ring. That's the mission that I'm trying to accomplish here. Um, but other than that, this concludes the Liddy Show. <laughs>